Yes. Again, he said, What shall we say the kingdom of God is like, or what parable shall we use to describe it? It is like a mustard seed, which is the smallest of all seeds on earth, yet when planted, it grows and becomes the largest of all garden plants with such big branches that birds can perch inside the shade. Many times there's storms that come into your life and it just feels like, man, doesn't he even know I exist anymore? You know this says the Lord your God, that even there are times when you feel that uh, I'm not hearing your voice, I am, says the Lord your God. And it is my desire to come even deeper into your heart and your spirit, uh, says the Lord your God. Wow. Because my desire is for you to grow like a mighty cedar in the house of the Lord. And, and, and I have put seeds of greatness in you, says the Lord your God. I have put seeds that are not uh, dried up or dead. I have put seeds in you that are to be scattered and, and, and planted uh, in other people's lives, uh, says the Lord your God. Tonight I am calling your name. I'm, I'm calling you out, uh, says the Lord your God. And I'm saying that I have greater need of you, says the Lord. For I am with you inside of your heart, says the Lord your God. And tonight uh, I'm knocking on the door of your heart. And saying, will you open up to me, says the Lord again. Will you walk with me? Will you follow me? Will you, will you, will you let me take you by your hand and, and take you to places, says the Lord your God, where you can touch people that have long been forgotten, says the Lord again. Wow. Jesus tells us that those seeds of faith that he puts inside of us and he asks us to plant into other people's hearts are not only seeds of faith, but they're seeds of greatness. And as we plant them, says the Lord, as small as they may be, they will grow and they will mature into people's hearts and they will step into the destiny that God has called them to step into. But tonight God is calling you into your destiny. For tonight I'm calling you and I'm letting you know if you will trust me for any and all situations that you live through, says the Lord your God. If you will, if you will uh, uh, let your, your roots uh, go down deep and, and, and start to uh, feed off of my water and my nourishment, says the Lord your God. I call upon your life as to be one that will plant seeds of hope into people lives where there is no hope. Where there's a sweet song, there's, there's sweet music that is inside of you. And the Holy Spirit is, he's working the soundboard, he's, he's mixing it to be what other people need to hear that will, will draw them to Christ. But God is calling you up. He's saying, I'm, I'm, I'm calling you off the reserve bench. I'm, I'm, I'm calling you off and I'm calling you to get in and make yourself part and see what I have planned for you because I have put in you those seeds of greatness, but I've put in you the ability to talk to people that nobody else can talk to. And they need Christ, they need salvation, they need deliverance. I 
know you're not part of this church because I've inquired. I have no, I have no idea what God is doing here. But all I know is God has put the right people in this house because they need a word. And so I am breaking rules tonight because I have to. I'm forced by what the mix of this congregation is. And if you're here, you came because you're looking for something. God is going to feed you. No, I know that. Well, I already talked to Mr. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you for guarding me. I know. You're here for a reason tonight. I don't know where you've been going or what road you've been not walking on, but... I looked at you and I immediately went to the scripture about the sea. Sometimes the prophetic just stirs up, you know, or there's a little pilot light inside of you that hasn't gone out and God just starts to turn up the Holy Spirit gas and the flame starts to burn. There was a flame that burned in you and God wants that flame back wants it to burn bright and hot because there's a call upon your life, I'm going to say it again, to touch people and lead them to Christ. And you stumbled into this well tonight. Maybe it was done purposely. Maybe you stumbled. Maybe you were curious. But God says, Tonight is the night that if you dedicate your life unto him and trust him, I can see how he's going to turn things around and life will never be the same. You know about this. your path for 